All right, so let's talk about relative risks and odds ratios. Relative risks are commonly used in cohort studies and randomized clinical trials, and odds ratios are commonly used in case control studies. And they are easily confused, which is a shame because it's a pretty easy concept once you get it. Um, and so I want to illustrate both with an example. So we're going to start with an example of the relative risk. The example is a randomized clinical trial with the goal of determining effect of aspirin on one year incidence of a myocardial infarction versus placebo. Let's say the aspirin arm consisted of a thousand people of whom after one year a hundred developed a myocardial infarction and 900 developed no myocardial infarction. Now let's say the placebo group or the placebo arm consisted of a thousand people as well of whom 500 developed a myocardial infarction and 500 did not. Now we want to make a table and you should remember this table. You should always make this table with these kinds of questions. And in this table you put in myocardial infarction or uh, no myocardial infarction and exposure or no exposure to the drug. So this is aspirin and this is placebo. Um, so what do we fill in? 100 myocardial infarctions versus 900 without 500, 500. Now, how do we calculate the relative risk? First, we calculate R1. So R1 is the risk of a myocardial infarction in the aspirin group. Is 100 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.1. Then we calculate R2 which is the risk of a myocardial infarction when you're in the placebo group, which is 500 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.5. Then the relative risk is R1 divided by R2. Relative risk is R1 divided by R2 is 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.5 is 0 0.2. So that's the risk of a myocardial infarction when you're using aspirin relative to when you are using placebo. Relative risk is 0 0.2. Now let's take a look at an example of the odds ratio. Now we have a case control study. And we want to research the relationship between schizophrenia and marijuana use. We find, let's say, a thousand cases and 10,000 controls. Of the cases, of the cases, let's say 500 smoked marijuana. So that's plus, and 500 did not. And of the controls, let's say a thousand smoked marijuana and 9,000 did not. Uh, did not, so that's a minus. Um,
Again, we make the same table. So, America, schizophrenia. No schizophrenia. And we have the cases. Uh, these are the cases. These are the controls. And here we have the exposed group and the not exposed group. And here, exposure, contrary to the uh, previous example, exposure is a negative thing. It means you're using marijuana. Here it's no marijuana. Now, of the cases, 500 used marijuana and 500 did not. And of the controls, 1,000 used marijuana and 9,000 did not. The total number of cases was 1,000 and the total number of controls was 10,000. Now, how do we calculate the odds ratio? We calculate the odds ratio by calculating the odds 1 and dividing that by the odds 2. So how does this work? Odds 1 is the odds that a schizophrenia patient used marijuana. So odds 1 is 500 divided by 500. It's the odds that a schizophrenia patient used marijuana, which is 1. And odds 2 is the odds that a non-schizophrenia patient used marijuana, which is 1,000 divided by 9,000, is for, let's say for ease, let's say 0 0.1. Notice how you divide 500 by 500 and not by 1,000. 1,000 by 9,000, not by 10,000. Notice that. It's very important. This is often done wrong. Um, because this is what the odds means. It means the odds that a non-schizophrenia person used marijuana versus the odds that he did use marijuana. So that's 1,000 divided by 9,000. Now the odds ratio... is odds 1 divided by odds 2 equals 1 divided by 0 0.1 equals 10. So your odds ratio is 10. So the odds that a schizophrenia patient, uh, the, the odds that a uh, schizophrenia patient used marijuana versus a non-schizophrenia patient is 10. And that's what an odds ratio is. Now let's take a look at the differences between the odds ratio and the relative risk. Here you see that in the relative risk, I'm going to use a nice color, let's use orange. In the relative risk group, we, calculate, uh, we divided horizontally and we divided this number by the total. In the odds ratio group, we divided vertically and we did not divide by the total because we are working with odds. So that's relative risk versus odds ratio. I'm just going to show you so you can pause the video. This is your relative risk. And this is your odds ratio. Good luck.